production is part of the Game Fire Network. Netcast for gamers by gamers. Welcome to Game Fire. Welcome one, welcome all, welcome to another exciting episode of Tales of Heroes right here on the Game Fire Network, www.gamefire.com. This is episode number 57, and uh, we are, it's a pretty good episode so far. Uh, we have uh, our, our audio you're not going to want to miss because uh, we had an extra long audio show this week because we missed one last week, so you're not going to want to miss that. Gamefire.com is where you can find it, tales.gamefire.com to be exact. So welcome to the show. We've got a great replay, Microza and Tamiya versus Dragoon and Seki Sulu this week on Wolfhase. Wolfhase? Wolfhase? Get sick! Okay, whatever. Uh, let me introduce myself. I am Bridger, and with me as always is my co-host Vittensby, but joining us is... Who, Vittensby? We have some blokes in your shoutcast mod over at the good old uh, GR, which uh, now apparently is the breeding ground of hate uh, <laughs> in the community. But uh, yes, uh, so, some so bloke. Wait, 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 wait. If, if GR is the breeding ground of hate, what does that make Relic News? Uh, I don't know. I don't go Hell to Relic itself? News. So. I don't know. <laughs> yes, but uh, we have oh, some man, blokes. I just find, alienated uh, so many people. I'm just kidding, guys. A fine uh, English gentleman on the show. Welcome to the program, some bloke. Yes, welcome. But no, really, I'm just kidding. I promise. <laughs> Thanks for the uh, invite to do the show, actually, guys. And a uh, couple of quick shout-outs to my team, well, mine and Roger's team, over at uh, GameUbase.org. We appreciate everyone over there. And uh, maybe it should be called Helic News. Yes. Why are Perhaps. they Greek? da dun so, oh, yeah. Windows mode DOH for the win is all right. history major. The Hellenistic period is when the Greeks took... Okay, moving on to the game. As I said, two versus two. Let's get it on. It is Microza and Tamiya versus Dragoon and Selly. Seki Selu. You know, I'm never going to get that right. Here we go. We're yes. at the 10-second mark, starting in five, four, three, two, one. Unpause. And we've got a pretty classic matchup. It is... Uh, Wehrmacht and Panzer Elite versus British and American. Stuff you like to see. Yes. Nice lot. Two of my of, uh, favorite players in the community, my Croza and Tamiya versus uh, two people who are, I know that they're a long-time team. They were participants in the uh, clan war uh, that I had a long time ago. Uh, I know that they, they're, I think they're part of uh, the whole war child clan thing. Uh, maybe not anymore, but I know that these guys have played together for a really long time, and uh, they're a pretty good team in in two v two. So, uh, of course, my Croza and, and Tamia are also good friends, and uh, both are really really skilled players. Um, been at pretty you know top of the ladder since the beginning. I don't know if Tamia used to play under a different name, but uh, you can see uh, that they're buddy buddy talking about sniper spam. Yes. Yeah, Weapons yeah. Support Center opening by the Americans uh, can certainly do well with the very heavy infantry of the uh, British. And it looks like he's taking the time to... He already built a lieutenant. He's taking the time to build a, uh, a second infantry section, probably to help guard the snipers that are apparently coming out. See, if Bridger had DX-10, he would know that by the engineers capping the munitions, there's actually gold mushrooms there. So we have a little bit of uh, Super Mario Brothers possibly in this replay. Should be really interesting. Wait, wait, typical. Wait, uh, no, I can see them. I don't need DirectX 10 to see. Th there's definitely. Oh wait, are you tripping mushrooms? Is that why you're seeing them? I don't know. All right. So over here. Oh. Seeing. Oh, he's, he, we got very nice micro trying to block and succeeding to block the Kettengrad over on the right. Um, the infantry section was able to get in its path of retreat, and it just you know completely got owned. Or was that um, sort of the exploit slash tactic where you just constantly click right in front of it and and it. Like re repaths a lot, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Oh, so that was just it, blocking it. I think it was just yeah. blocking it. Okay. Yeah. And uh, just to point out, we are actually shooting the map called Hazer, just to annoy them. Yes. You're but, not even uh, German. We have... Now why are you correcting us? <laughs> <laughs> just for the hell of it. Very good job keeping Early... the sniper with the with the rest of the group here. He's well protected, and this is a group that's going to beat almost anything they come up against right now. 
Two Volks, I don't care. Machine Gun, I don't care. You know, unless everything that, that the two Axis players have goes right after this group here, nothing's going to stop them. That Lieutenant is going to easily gonna keep them alive. Tamiya moving his uh, HQ so wisely onto the uh, high munitions point yeah. early on. Going to give the Brits a bit of a... Uh, sorry, the Allies a bit of a resource advantage. Uh, interesting... Interesting, uh, you know, reverse here. We got uh, kind of the Axis attacking from the south to north. Early incendiary grenades, double incendiary grenades. Wow. Snipers going off. Trying Tons to of early action lead. in the center. Oh, lost the squad. That that lieutenant's almost going to get owned. Very wisely got out of there. And uh, infantry section on the right is uh, taking heavy damage from oh, that wow, machine yeah. gun. He's not paying attention. That was a bit of a chaotic brawl, wouldn't you guys yeah, say? He was watching too <laughs> far, too much in the middle. Sniper certainly got five kills already. He's certainly paying for himself so far. There goes another one. He might just be able to reload fast enough to kill that machine yep. gun team. Here it goes. Level Come on. one vet for the. Yay! Oh, 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 He's running away. The other st oh man, Uncloaked that was hunts. bad luck. <laughs> and they don't know the Kettenkrad's there. He's like, why am I uncloaked? I don't understand. He knows it's there. Yeah. He's chasing it. Why would he chase it? Oh man, this is brutal. Ooh. This is gonna be a sniper switch. Oh, oh, oh they At least it found wasn't... him. Found the sniper. <laughs> Wait, oh they, oh the other sniper got him. I didn't see that. Okay. Yeah. That's why yeah. the sniper appeared. I'm like, oh, they found the sniper. Oh, too bad. And oh, that is why the Kettengrad is borderline oh, bullshit. Wow, well, just look at that. I mean, damn. They need a jeep, <laughs> is what they need. <laughs> Here, that, okay, now we got the Brits that are actually going to come in and, and provide some cover. I don't know if that's not going to really help Ooh. against the Kettengrad, though, is it? So they both chose to go snipers with the old company of heroes and then covered by the... Uh, by the new yep. opposing Section. fronts units. Yeah, it looks like we got uh, sniper early Volk squad with two snipers, kind of. My Croza, you know what a triage is. <laughs> field support sends a uh, truck on the field. That's an early support. Oh truck. wow, yeah, it is. How many minutes we got here? Five minutes. Very Five. early support yeah. truck. Um, the other thing is, uh, you know, this is something that people don't, not a lot of people understand. The Americans can build a triage center on a British HQ, which allows yeah. the British to, and the Americans to um, to heal for free way out in the field, which is a very good combination in a 2v2. And look at this Kettenkrad just sneaking in here, seeing everything that they got right now, trying to reveal yeah. a sniper if he's hidden along these sandbags, which he wasn't in this case. The, yeah, the detection uh, radius, as you can see, is... Maybe a little bit too oh, little. Just got found. That's coming again. Little point about the um, HQ thing with the triage center. You can build barracks, you can build weapons support sense, you can build anything. Oh wow, I didn't realize it's... that. Yeah, that makes sense now that I think about it. You yeah. got everything. Yeah. Oh man. Sniper. Uh, poorly based that MG. Gun. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, even if it was in cover, it wouldn't have helped either, you know? He's got to retreat it right <laughs> now. He's going to lose it anyway. Oh, oh my god. Counter snipes. That is, is that too the much vet crap. Sniper? I think oh, it was. just lost another sniper, and that lieutenant's gonna get oh. owned too. Allies totally pushed back. We got a mortar emplacement going up, which is really smart. Um, always on this map, and of course, you know this is just classic wolf. Wolf head. What is it, some bloke? Hazer. <laughs> wolf Hazer, which is uh, you know quite frankly. Uh, <laughs> wow. Yeah, the allies are really, really, really hurting right now. Yeah. It's just too much snipage oh, going wow. on, you know. Was, oh, okay, that was engineers right there. And we do have Blitz being chosen, so Blitz and Luftwaffe. Interesting combination. Yeah, and uh, just to point out, there's a motor pool coming up. Uh, people is away complete, and we should probably, probably see an M8 coming out, do you think? <clears throat> Yeah, maybe actually, I would I would go with the quad Look at that blob. <laughs> and then probably have a, a quick Stewart come out of the other one. Be my it's not guess. a blob; it's a couple of squads. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Here comes the machine well, gun setting up on, on, the, on the freaking the machine gun setting up on the on the bed of the. 
Heroic charge. Charge! Oh no, he's gonna lose two squads. Retreat. Oh god. Oh, oh, he, oh, oh. no, my god. He charged into the machine gun fire. Bad luck. I don't know if you saw it until it opened up. And that didn't get away. And uh, triage center Why finally is he going. Why are all his Panzer Elite guys now? I don't understand. Uh, yeah, we do have a fast. Field. We do so, have a fast Stewart. Um, and a fast uh, Stormtrooper yeah. squad. Too, oh, here. sorry. Yeah, I mean we do have a captain, so we're probably going to see a wow. fast Stewart. Storms coming out. With Panzer checks. Oh yeah. Yeah. Gonna make a uh, short work of that mortar emplacement, but oh, luckily but uh, it's kind of an exchange. Shot? Oh, just missed him. <laughs> Ooh. He might get a last shot on the uh, guy's cap in the point there. I don't know if he can see him. Oh no, he, he has it on him. auto barrage actually. <laughs> oh. Lots of EXP going to uh, Dragoon right now. Yeah. We're gonna need that uh, Stewart to come out pretty soon, and uh, I'm it not is. sure. The captain needs to get yep. over there. By there, there he goes. Now he's getting healed. Nice. Or the Ooh, lieutenant. I'm half sorry. damage from one check to the front. Less than half damage. Wow! Look at that. We were talking about on the audio show how amazingly powerful the Shreks are compared to every other infantry <coughs> held AT weapon. <laughs> they have they do they have better penetration than a Panzer IV. They have almost as good penetration as a Panther, and they have almost as much damage as a Panther. Twice as much damage as a recoilless rifle. It's just ridiculous. Yeah. Yep. And uh, we do have the Panzer Grenadier spam uh, strat, so to speak. Probably. I mean, he's getting comp group oh companies. They're going to tech up. Uh, <clears throat> straight up to uh, the, the next building, but more than likely, I think he's probably just going to get an infantry half track so he can start reinforcing in the field. Uh, maybe he'll get a logistics company so he can get increased squad size. We do have defensive operations on those Panzer Grenadiers. I'm surprised that they <clears throat> decided to get offensive veterancy. Um, we were see, talking about I, that. I don't think week. Mike Croza realized his snipers were being decloaked by the. Uh by the Kettenkrad. He's he said there was it's a stupid bu he's he was saying stupid mm. bugs because he said first it, first he wasn't shooting then it won't cloak, and he was wondering why it wasn't cloaking. So, you know, yeah. that's just I mean I know I wouldn't have known that I wouldn't have thought of freaking Kettenkrad sneaking around back there. That would well, have occurred to me in the middle of the game. See the damn thing. I mean it's Ooh, right next to you. Yeah, yeah. In the middle. The problem is there's yeah, only they're... one kind of camouflage. They don't have multiple kinds of camouflage so. Oh man, he's in trouble. Does he have armored skirts Ooh. on that? Is that why it yeah, actually sort of the survived? Yeah, and the armored skirts. The Rangers, to infantry. Yeah, that M8 was just so yeah, effective. Yeah, you know, go. I mean, two Panzer should counter that really easily. But uh, always important to have an M8 in uh, in a matchup just to take care of the half tracks. So, and yeah. we do have the quick pet teching the Panzer support command. Uh, no, oh, quite stole sure. And gun. Sturm going up. Storm Armory. Bow Forge going up, because it's Swedish. And uh, fight fine with fire, we've got two flame engineer squads. We're paying that M8. Nice. <laughs> Here come the yeah, Rangers. Those flame engineers against uh, Panzer Grenadiers is really sweet to see all the uh, <laughs> Look at that all XP. the XPs. <laughs> Rangers are able to be called in now. Do we have them already? Oh yeah, there they are. I thought we saw one come yep. up. Wow. Yep. So uh, that two in the back is still doing tons of damage in terms of suppression fire anyway. Yeah, the uh, false the hope, the false hope period for Axis is kind of over at this point. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> we'll see how they can uh, they can come back from this because I mean they're despite oh man retreat uh, despite you know <laughs> having really good map control still I mean they're they're flushed oh. into their base. Was that the a mortar half track or was that an incendiary grenade right there? I think it was incendiary, a bunch been. of incendiary. That was very long. It's, yeah. I didn't we do have a squad like of things. rangers on the field with Thompson's. Uh, here comes the blob. Uh, <laughs> what the allies. The blob! <laughs> <laughs> what the allies aren't doing Machine properly gun. now is, uh, is capping a few things here and there, you know, using maybe an NG squad or whatnot to just, uh, to just cap. Um, the that thing about cute. Wolf Hats, hate, hats, whatever, <laughs> is. Uh, is uh, is uh, the resources don't really make too much of a difference because they're just plus five points. So I mean, just losing one of them or two, it doesn't really hurt you all that much. Um, so you can kind of survive with little map control and uh, you know just kind of retreat. It's a real manpower oriented map. Um, nice. Light AT oh, half track. Almost killed the light AT half track. That Bofors 
was a big surprise. What is it? Bot Bofors? Bofors? The Force. The Force? That's awesome. I was playing the. Oh no! Immobilized next to Shrek's. I was playing Call of Duty 4. Um, and on the, the gunship mission, when you're in the air, and it's kind of like that black and white thing. I don't know if people have seen it, but anyways, they shows you what the uh, what the weapons on the thing is, and it's actually one of them is like a Bofors 40mm uh, cannon, so I thought it was pretty cool. It's still in use to today, except it's not oh, ground yeah. man yeah. that they have the, it on. The, uh, the, I think they still use the 50 cal American uh, Browning 50 cal machine gun today. Oh yeah, sure. or yeah it's one of the most Humvees. Uh, any back the uh, then another thing I was watching on TV was uh, Bonnie and Clyde, and uh, <laughs> Clyde's favorite weapon. Uh, don't laugh. Yeah. Clyde's favorite weapon was actually the uh, the BAR. Yeah. He used to use a sawed off BAR, so I thought that was pretty cool. That was actually laughing. Think... I was just clearing my throat. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> Twenty-five pounder coming up by the train. Oh, the no. moving tracks. You know what's interesting? We haven't seen any any trenches uh, going up, and certainly that's. Uh, well, you remember the last time how effective the twenty-five pounder was at missing every freaking blob there was. Legit, we got a stuck. Yeah. Which just took and damage from two bazookas from the side and did nothing. Wow, that's uh, yeah, yeah, that was good. <laughs> I like yeah. to see that. Okay, bazooka so far balanced in my opinion in this game. <laughs> Bazooka's still okay, uh -oh. okay, they're still good. Uh oh, here come three more. Oh, uh, Naval Warfare. Firestorm. Oh, no. Yeah, they really, need, uh, oh. they really need Ouch. trenches right now. Oh, no! Oh, Rangers dying! There goes a whole squad! There goes another squad! Oh, he retreated it just in time! Oh, oh no, my. he got killed by the sniper! <laughs> There's a kind of battery for you. Oh, wow. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think definitely a, a trench usage or two might have been uh, might have been helpful. Not in that situation, per se, yeah. with the knee, but just in general. I mean, Sniper. don't you think you want to use the overpowered trench? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, maybe. maybe it's. I think it's just the early incendiary grenades that kind of uh, made them not want to build stug it. That is so. running from a from a freaking M8. <laughs> Ooh, whoa! Not long. Oh, it still gets away with a five percent. Nah, never mind. <laughs> done, done, Ouch. Done, done, done. Now, I just can't believe that Naval Warfare is so amazingly retarded. And it does, wasn't it like four, five hundred percent damage against uh, against soldier armor against British something or something? Like that. something it's like just that. so that's such so broken. That's there's no way it's supposed to be five hundred percent damage against British and one hundred yeah. like seventy percent against Americans or something. It's he, amazing. He did that from the Panzer Elite base as well. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's amazing what one naval warfare can do these days. Yeah, I'm gonna come it's, 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 it's our up, it's our, it's our uh, comeuppance for making fun of it all these <laughs> these months. <laughs> yeah, yeah and make like, fun of well, me, will ya? This is why we had to make the naval warfare useless, guys. Because when it actually did, much like everything else, oh my god! Oh, oh. Captain Grant almost got him. Sniper, sniper just ran just, out of uh, nowhere, and just died. Why did he do that? Captain Grant. Just so you know, we've got radio My triangulation going. I realize that there's a fucking Kettengrad that's been around him the entire game. <laughs> I don't think the Kettengrad was near him. Was it near him when he got... I mean, that's a, you, you bring up an interesting point subconsciously with what you said, Bridger. It's like, you can't see the damn thing, nor do you actually realize that... I mean, and, and its sight radius is huge. So, its detection radius, rather. So it's kind of like a... I don't know. I think that the Kettengrad is a little too punishing... You know? Yeah, I think, I mean, look I think at the that. camouflage look at thing. I think the camouflage thing. Uh, it should be. It, it seems like it would be nice if you could make it more easily visible than other camouflage <laughs> units, but you can't. Yeah. Volks retreating through uh, through a big mess of units. Ooh, seventeen pounder. Oh, this is going to be a harsh charge right here. We'll see oh, how they man. can do against all those. Oh, they got slowed. That's not good. Rangers trying to get out of there. Oh, there goes. How there goes two more. 25 pounder. There's the 25 Whoa. pounder. Goodbye, hell, the Panzer leaders saying, I'm out of here. So that leaves Lobsters. the Stugs to deal with the Ranger squads who seem to have lost one of their. Oh no, they still wow. got the, uh, the bazooka. Oh, wow. Please grab your captain and pick up that bazooka. Did I guys tell? Did I tell you guys Pyospam's back? By the way. <laughs> yeah, I know it's Is back. That so? I've seen it. 
Two tiquitas. Again. Yeah. And what? he's been using Nothing's uh, changed. Somebody just decided it still works and so tried it. Well, yeah. it's the new, it's the Pyospam version 2.0. Basically, it's uh, you spam pioneers and then you tech to tier 3 against Brits and Ooh. just spam stugs. Uh, Tons of new bases might... getting shelled. <laughs> yep. How did he Is fire two, two in a row? Pounds? He must have another one. What? Well, he used that. Victor Target. Oh, yeah. of course. That makes sense. Now I see. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm just surprised that uh, you know Sekisello hasn't got uh, increased squad size, and it doesn't look like from the looks of it that he has advanced repair either. Um, two interesting things that I definitely think he could have benefited from a logistics hey, company. Commanders are doomed on the field. Awesome. And that's a land? good positioning. Oftentimes we see people just throw it into the line of battle yep. and. Uh, Two reasons why you don't want to do that. One, because you know, obviously, you can reinforce from it. It's kind of like another forward position that the British have. And two, the before the glider actually releases the troops, it can die if you do that, and nothing will come out. Oh, yeah. So, you, yeah, most people I see doing that, they're like, "What the hell was that? Nothing came out." I'm like, "Oh, because you dropped it into a pack of ten Panzer Grenadier squads with fifteen Shreks. What do you think?" You know, commanders with a bazooka. <laughs> Nothing quite like a level three lieutenant with a Panzer Shrek. That, that's my favorite. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> I've had KCH with a Piet before. That was fun. Whoa! Captain just barely made it out of there with a sliver of help. Looks like we're gonna have maybe some commando already going off. Nice. Forces yeah. a retreat. Stug's moving forward. Definitely in danger if that uh, 17 pounder turns around. Nope, it's gonna be out of range. It's gonna be in danger from the bazookas. Sort of. Yeah, he's so far I've been doing a good job of keeping his stugs out of the line of fire, but now it's button. He's Buttons. in trouble with that one. Uh oh, Naval Warfare's coming Naval down. Coming on in. That, oh on them? god. Where's it coming down? You know where it's going right yeah. Look at that suppression! What? They're like 3,000 miles like, away. God. Is that one or two? That must have been two, no? No, maybe no, one. That's just think. one Naval Warfare. That's all, that, but it's very inaccurate, you notice. It just happened that one of them landed near the guys. The Americans, guys. Yeah. There's the cavalry. <laughs> yeah, the cavalry being the giant. Look at this. This is like a real freaking war. You got a Panzer IV and a bunch <laughs> of guys following it. I mean, I know the blob is getting really annoying, but look at that. That kind of looks cool. Let's zoom in down <laughs> here. Look, oh my god! Oh, who needs boxes? Get them out of here. Rawr, charge! <laughs> Looks like we have uh, green smoke being dropped, which I forget what that is. Maybe that's Victor Target. That's nasty Target. things. That's nasty things. Watch. Nice shot. Just, just, uh, just overshot. Hopefully a second one. Nope, just missed again. If you're wondering how he knows that, he's got radio triangulation on the victory point on the left hand side and down by the. Oh, that's point what that south. is. I see in these boxes on my screen. I'm going. Yeah. What the hell is there? I don't see. <laughs> He's got yeah, to get in the buildings or something. Oh, the lieutenant the and the position. captain, I think, just got owned. I just saw like 16, 17 EXP. No, the lieutenant's still alive. And the captain's still alive. Must have been a bug then. It's weird. <laughs> I think More it's because lots, it destroyed the, uh, the, the glider, like, yeah. wreck. It destroyed the wreck, so it got XP. Yeah. But yeah, I was trying oh, to no, find Oh, no, it was the buffer. There it is. Okay. Now I see the detector for radio triangulation. I was wondering what his squads were doing way the hell up there if they weren't capping anything. That's a smart idea. Now we can see whenever there's a charge and what isn't guarding the right hand side. Yeah, can I just point out the placement on that north light and. Oh um, god, Panzer IV. Push. Push. Oh, it does nothing. It's a pushover <laughs> unit. That's all I gotta say. Most worthless piece of crap in the game. Well, Sorry. if he had, you know. Used it. Naval if I had been playing, <laughs> I could have owned I'm you top it. three. Please. <laughs> Fine with playing. I could show you that Treks aren't overpowered. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> still the going I, down. Because I can use, I can flight without using any Shreks and I can still win. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so that I guess was a big sacrifice of Rangers that, to get that yeah, one stug the there. Hmm. Oh, what? Yeah, oh, level no. two. Thanks. Nice. Oh, oh. It seems like uh, my my Croza is <laughs> finally idea. getting an AT gun. Oh. Uh, definitely long overdue. Kill the Ranger squad. That was not. Oh, Victor Target maybe. 
Oh no, that's uh, that's the art that's the artillery of. Uh, oh jeez! Oh, mercy, mercy! Oh, that was the eighty the eighty manpower, eighty manpower, eighty munition. Um, oh, what the hell do they call it? The off map? Is it off map? Twenty five pounders? Is that what they call it? Yep. Oh, nice. The commandos. We're gonna have a we're gonna have a tiger coming in. My crows and Tamiya really need to get a uh, Ventrilo channel to hang out in or something. Oh, uh, they can coordinate a lot better, Holy and I'm sure that, that Dragoon and Sekiselu are, to kill the are on. Pounder. Wow, that's an interesting tactic that um, employed by my crows. He's moved his AT gun by some of the triage sensor to heal the crew. Oh, yeah. Yep. That makes sense. Now he's still well can't. played. Hopefully he can finish oh. off that stug. Nice, good shot. There. Now he's still not going to be able to repair. That's that's one one thing that people complain about. They said, "Well, you know, I healed the crew, but I can't repair my AT gun mm. until it dies, or something like that." Lots that of already coming in. That must be what is that fire? <laughs> is he, is oh, he, he blitz, So it. Uh, I don't know what artillery that. Is. Yeah, they need some anti uh, building grenade on that 25 pounder right now. There oh, it comes. Oh, off map be coming Killed in. it. There it is. Yep. Here comes the off map. Oh! Watch this. <laughs> Brilliant. Owned. I'm I trying think. to take out the AT. Here comes the glider to this? save the day. Where did the <laughs> wing go? How does it land with one wing? Okay. <laughs> That's the beauty of the gliders, mate. They don't need wings. Oh, did he kill the 25, 25 pound pounder yeah. with? Oh, yep. wow! We have uh, the first tiger on the field, vet two for dragoon. Pretty, uh, pretty, pretty intense game so far, guys. I don't know what your thoughts are, oh, yeah. but this is turning oh, yeah. out to be quite the uh, interesting <laughs> oh, way to God. counter Retreat. an interesting attack. The tiger got three Retreat. kills in one shot. Oh, it's at five oh, now. Two Nibelwerfers. How many? Jeez. How much? How much? Nibelwerfer's for five kills, two kills. Oh! Brought down some more 25 pounder call shots on that other Nibel. Yeah, we got That's two AT guns on the right and uh, 17 pounders. Still not one trench built in this game. Interesting. <laughs> Promo command tank looks like we're going to have a Firefly coming out. Uh, try to oh, yeah. probably, probably use some combined arms, some button, uh, AT push. Yeah, and, they know uh, it's there yeah. as well. They know it's there. Yeah. They know the storms are there because of radio triangulation. Yeah. Wow, yeah, that's that's become very useful. The yep. people who said that radio triangulation is uh, worthless. Uh, there goes the AT gun. Couldn't repair it in time. I think he actually might have deleted it. He might Yeah, have. I think he did. To prevent uh, X the XP. Not that it matters. Yeah, yeah. The tiger's already on the field. Firefly. Oh, there's the two AT guns ready and waiting for the tank. Lots of already going to be dropped down. Probably Sound some howitzer. Uh, oh wow! Oh, that Marty. tiger's in trouble. If they button it, it's gone. Oh, it's, oh, it's gone. gone regardless. No, it might just no way it's barely. Oh, there. it would have made it out without the destroyed engine. I think. Oh, the <laughs> nice. firefly had it. I didn't realize that's why I was taking damage. And that is why endgame tanks are not what they used to be. <laughs> but they are tanks. They are tanks. Noble barge. Well placed bundle grenade. Too bad uh, it was up against the Rangers. <laughs> the blob, all offensive vet blob. Lost a lot of stuff. Three squads of from Jaegers. Oh no! Retreating into the navel. Never mind. We got a howitzer being built by the damn this firefly in the uh, seven fuel point. Just so you know. Oh yeah. By the way, guys, we haven't really commented on the VPs. It's 465 oh, yeah. to 171. Well, yeah, the but... allies are just. Destroying yeah. this game so far. Yeah, dominating, playing uh, the map the way it's supposed to be. It's all about that middle VP. Yeah. Always has been, always will be. It's a very focused map. Looks like there's a lot of more strategy. I mean, I've seen you know different strats being used, like left side push. Uh, right yeah, maybe push. the left side. If the left side contained more resources, <laughs> you know, if the plus five fuel and munitions were plus tens, then it might be better. Yeah, I don't know. I think the map plays out great the way it is. It's just very focused on that one yeah. BP in the center, and it seems like nothing else really matters. Everything else is just going to be light harassment. Um, I'd like to it's see. It's very a, hard. Go ahead. I'd like to see like an alternate version, like Wolf hits alternate. Put another VP on the left hand side in between those two points. 
Mm. I think that would be very cool just to add another oh type of captain team on the map. And the light inside just got owned. There goes the captain, yeah. Ouch. Completely destroyed. He's not James Bond, guys. He's not James Bond. He doesn't even need to be that far in the front. He just barely needs to be inside of the, the territory to do anything. <laughs> oh, MG uh, Nest. Lovely uh, placement. And look how, look, wow, look how well it suppresses units. What the hell happened? The Alex can't suppress shit. Yeah. They, they are vetted, though. The flames will do something to them. They're That's offensive they vet. It's defensive vet that gives you the suppression resistance. Well. Oh no, there's the button on the tiger. Again? Lovely. And everything else had to retreat due to artillery. Here comes the firefly. Trying to get around the rear tiger. Unbuttoned. It's out of there. Trying so hard. Tiger's still going to win this, though, with the, with the way it is right now. Naval warfare incoming. Tiger's got such a more powerful See how gun. well placed it is. That's yeah, so that uh, that firefly is gonna go down for there sure. Yep, there it goes. Run over the guys! Run over the guys! Run over the guys! Oh, <laughs> it's under them ten. Yeah, I know. It's not ten. <laughs> and it's not in my hands. It's not a croc that's going out of control that kills all the <laughs> units that killed it. <laughs> you sons of bitches! Oh. Oh, take this! <laughs> oh wow! What the hell just killed them? Was that a tiger shot? Yeah, it was a Oh okay. my god, fire up right into the freaking That's blob. not a good idea. Oh, uh, off map how it's been coming on that stuff. Oh wow, are you sure that was off map? Yeah, yeah they have the is. on map one now. Oh, it had the... Ooh. Okay. The tiger's just being but What the hell, we paired buttoned? It's being buttoned... Uh, shoot the thing that's buttoning you. Come on. Oh, oh my god. Oh, maybe it can't even shoot. It's button okay. for so long it can't even shoot its main gun. Oh Tetrock. no. Nebel coming in. <laughs> Nebel saved him so many times. Are Tetrarch. you trying to circle it with Tetrarch. a Tetrarch? You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Tetrarch. There goes a Charge. Panzer Faust misfire, but that one got it. Nice. Oh, Go back! Uh oh, here comes... <laughs> it's more off-map howitzers. Right on the Nebel, and the Flak for Ling, and the Panzer Support Command. <laughs> Roger, you should really kill the taskbar. <laughs> I see him sometimes, like, <laughs> man, like, there's just way too much crap going on to have that thing take up a third of the screen. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I got you. <laughs> Even the bird thinks so. Yeah, apparently. I think we should make it a rule on Wolf Headset, like, or Wolf Head. What is it again? <laughs> <laughs> wolf Hazen. All right, that'll be the yeah. name of this show. Wolf, uh, Wolf, he uh, Wolf <laughs> Line. <laughs> it's got a blaze. Main gun destroyed. They can't keep it alive. Can you upgrade the <laughs> base? Can you upgrade the base bunkers to uh, repair center? Uh oh, AT guns in trouble. There it goes. Done. Done. Allies all. Incoming howitzer. Incoming on map, how it's a... Man, that Panzer Support Command is in big trouble, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's this Storm Squad trying to do? I don't know. He's getting he's artillery, that's what he's doing. He's killed the tank, he's killed the vehicle, he's, he's killed the uh, two oh, buildings. Oh, look at that Piat Squad running right in there. Ouch. I think that's the original Storm Squad that was called in a long time yeah. ago. I don't know got another one. Oh, 13 kills. Yeah, it probably is. 13 yeah, infantry one kills, vehicle, one vehicle, tank. one tank, two buildings. That's definitely the right one. That's like super Ooh. storms. Triangulation for the win as they see this masked infantry. Oh, yeah. Inside. <clears throat> I mean, people said it's it's stupid and it's never going to get set up, but damn, when you set it up. And set it right. Look where he's got it on that. Yeah, he's got it way here, here. And way down here, so he sees most of the middle of the map. Yep. Oh, look at this, he's turning the howitz around. Sweet. <laughs> oh, it's just over shots. But that'll do it. <laughs> well, if he retreats, he's gonna be retreating. No, no, he's not gonna be retreating into it. There goes more. Wow, is that off map too, or is that. Good. Or is that 25 pounder? That was a fake, I think. You know what you need <laughs> Look to out, use? Look out, the command tank is e coming! <laughs> speed and run him over. 
Why can't the, I mean, the, the flank speed moves faster than the freaking M10 and he, okay, he got one guy. You can run it over. <laughs> Look at uh, him, he's still just on the front of the tank. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, oh Fritz, oh no. Uh, Look at that, the saving grace, did you see that? He ran over like two, two other, oh man, that was pretty crazy. <laughs> Level two. Oh no, too. the captain's in trouble again. <laughs> this captain, that's commandos in the north. Well, it's done an AT gun. Wow. What he needs is a burger tiger to rescue the other tiger. This, this tiger's still not even healed to like half health. It's been sitting back there the whole game. <laughs> not the whole game, but you know. Come on, commandos. Grenade the tiger. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, yeah. Maybe just put the next hit to the face with the neighbor with her. Yikes. Oh, we do have secure uh, resources on both high munitions points, which is you know definitely giving them a huge resource advantage. I mean that's just endless arty spam pretty much. What the hell is up with that tiger? Its turret is oh it's back to given. I was just kind of broken. <laughs> it had a limp turret so to speak. <laughs> well that you couldn't get it up. Needs to take some Viagra, What perhaps? happened to the uh, Firefly? Did we lose that earlier? <laughs> oh, that's right, it charged uh, up and then died. Burger Tiger! Burger Tiger, Burger it's raising! It's raising it from the grave! <laughs> that's what I said we needed, now we're gonna have two Tigers on the field. Oh, oh it, artillery! Artillery, artillery, he's um, trying to take boy. it out! Is it gonna happen? It takes extra damage yeah, it, from artillery now that it's, it's uh, repairing. Oh, oh it and bounced off! The shell bounced <laughs> off! Burger Tiger armor is ridiculous, and he's uh, he's uh, it went it, it took back some of the progress because oh it damaged God. the Rex further. Yeah, but where's wow, the main like Tiger? The Ever? It's way down here. Oh shit! It's blitzing too. Dangerous. Wow, some that thing's Firefly gonna go down big time. And the Tiger's gonna be owned. He that probably should have kept mistake. it back near the Burger Tiger to to keep it yeah. Yeah, defensive. VP changed hands though what for the heck? two seconds. Hunting his own base. He's trying to kill that tiger. There, finally got it. What happened to the other Panzer IV? There it is. It's still there. Burger Tiger, more than halfway done raising the previous Panzer IV er, tiger there. He might just get another one. If he calls one in now, he'll have two. More artillery. Panzer IV, as useful as ever, killed one guy. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Defensive feds. Oh, oh he just got shot the on the Panzer IV line. didn't kill a tank and a building. <laughs> <laughs> Burger Tiger, almost done! Uh oh, Rap base rush with Falschermakers! Base rush with Falschermakers! Don't miss it, Bridger. Go back to the Burger Tiger. It's coming up right now. Alright. Oh, there it is! Main Empty gun life! Oh. <laughs> Why would you stop oh, repairing it? Oh no. We're gonna have an off map combat group in a second or two. Are yeah, we? here we go. M10! Yes! Oh. Why does it spawn it because it died with its with its turret destroyed, so now he's still gotta repair it all the way to full to get the <laughs> turret back. Oh man. He's super Classic. repairing it with the pioneers too. Life's hard, Bridger, what can I say at the foot? <laughs> <laughs> they barely able to it. turn this around now. 443 to 63. Oh man. M10 in the in the off map combat group, not bad. Yeah. Kill show is in control of that. Ooh, absolutely. Where's the absolutely going? Bridger, oh. did you notice they exactly. nerfed that M uh, M8 mine drop, right? Oh, hello. Oh. Yeah, Sorry, they I'm they increased the duration that it takes to actually drop the mine. Using yep. the, uh, oh man. Tiger's trying to deal with that many rangers, but it's tough. Even a Vet 3 Tiger's gonna have trouble. They, they were able to, they spotted that concentration with the Tiger and the Burger Tiger yeah. on the map via the, uh, the triangulation Let's again. Meebles going off. Meebles, nice Shooting. time for Meebles. Uh -huh. Is it buttoned? Why is it going so slow? There it goes. Wow. What he really needs is some frickin' MP44 um, stormtroopers <laughs> to back up that tiger, because that's what he's getting hit with. The tiger can take out any any armor that's there. Oh, commander's on the right. Can the VP back? And this trap point. Ooh! And there's Falschermakers right there. I bet he's upgrading them. 
Yeah, they don't stand a chance against commandos unless they're upgraded. Yeah. So. But here comes some storms to help them out. So you're gonna jump in the building? No, he's not. Oh, retreats. Artillery. Oh, artillery. <laughs> More freaking off-map artillery. The allies are just getting ridiculous <laughs> amounts. <laughs> I'm that storm squad. Look at this. They got and plus the 26 and plus 26. That's not security don't judge sourcing. The tiger into artillery. Oh, bounced off. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> that's like the seventeenth shell deflection today oh, that's off amazing. of the tiger. Oh, they're taking the middle back. They got twenty <laughs> points. Oh no, what do they got? Firefly! Able to penetrate the massive armor of the tiger. Whoa, that thing's gonna die. Piets! More artillery. artillery in the middle. I don't even know if it's off map howitzer or if it's twenty five pounder fake. anymore. Fake. That was fake. Oh it was a fake. Oh that sucks for him. Nibelwerfer is <laughs> definitely needed. Where's the storms with the Panzer Shreks when he needs them down here? Come on. They got they got owned by the you guys. Know that the, uh... Oh, the Burger Tigers in big trouble. Did you guys Out know of that control. A one combat value, the Burger Tiger. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea why. <laughs> yeah, drop the magnet on the heads. Oh, this has got to be the real stuff. There's the retreat. Where's the Stormtrooper <laughs> squad with a gajillion? Kills. You gotta send them into the front. Rangers in the center no, trying to go for the cap. Looks like we're gonna have a bundle. Let's see how well placed it is. Here. Oh, so nice! Here it goes! Ouch! Retreating with two men. Oh, he's Fire gotta flight. decap Check it. Big again. trouble. Yeah. Big trouble. Oh, I can't believe they lost that Got a Nanos against FG42 Fallschirm Jaegers. Just died in the upper right hand corner. Mm. Uh, Effectively giving the Axis team a little bit more life in this game. Nebel's coming down. Commando's popping smoke. This is going to be the uh, finish to to end all finishes here. Yeah, we'll see how this like, It looks like the Allies Whoa. are going to get it based on the amount of time left. The Neverwood just took out the Firefly. We no, to, was... I just saw it. I yeah. couldn't believe it. Wow. <laughs> I missed it, but I turned and saw the Firefly was dead. I'm like, that must have been the Tiger, right? <laughs> right? Oh my god, Commandos. Fox some Jaegers, oh. go! Oh man, <laughs> people say this isn't company of artillery, but I think it really is. Enemy unit. <laughs> this is freaking oh. ridiculous. Yeah, that's gonna be a GG right there. Yeah. Wow. Non-stop. But it just goes to show active. how freaking spammy this artillery is right now. Oh, Fox some Jaegers out of the building, out of the train set. Look at the train station. Uh, it's got no move. The loop. Oh, <laughs> and some building. One commander versus then. <laughs> Twelve VPs. Are the stormtroopers gonna get it? Is that the super squad? It's the super squad! Killed two tanks, two buildings, a vehicle, and fifteen infantry. Go for it, buddy! Fine. And here comes more freaking Target. artillery! <laughs> I think that's Victor, right? Victor Target. Victor. Oh, man. Overshot. Oh. Let's see. I bet you that's gonna be a coup de grace. <laughs> right there. Wow. Yeah, my crows are titled this the Adrenaline 2v2 for a reason. <laughs> yeah. You weren't kidding. Fashion makers <laughs> in the train station. What is that verbal thing doing at the North from VP? Well, that's why they lost. They got a verbal win. I'm sorry, <laughs> my crow. You didn't earn this victory, the <laughs> verbal win. That's oh. instant GG right there. This almost constant artillery falling. This entire game. Oh, they built an officer too. That's why they lost. I think yeah. he built the officer for the propaganda, though. Oh, but the officer gets creamed by straight. Up. Look at all of this artillery. Look at this. We haven't had a dead moment of artillery yet. It's another hard Oh my God! You gotta increase the cooldown on this. There's way too much <laughs> artillery. Honest to God, you need to make it come down faster and make a much longer cooldown. I don't care if it's more effective, just make it so it doesn't get spammed like this. Oh. Did you? Did you? This is the count of the Panzer Tracks. <laughs> no, it's not. The guy still has his Storm Squad with Panzer Tracks. I'm not convinced. One. Wow, Pioneer's going in for that last second decap. Yeah. While uh, the Verbal Vind is uh, getting owned by Commandos. Are you kidding me? The Verbal Vind couldn't kill Commandos? <laughs> Almost. <laughs> that 
That's how they lost, cause the verbal vin. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Junk points. And there we go. That's seven. Game. Seven against infantry. My ass. <laughs> <laughs> Even a Sherman it's has like more five like, it's against like, infantry. It's like a three against infantry and like a zero against light vehicles. So I don't wow. even know why it's so be there. But, oh. uh, Look at this nice formation of vehicles they got in the middle. Look at this little <laughs> triangular truck. Look at that Nibelwerfer for spam. <laughs> I got these red oh. floaters in my eye after the, watching this. If anyone okay. works at I'm just going to try company, and do a they... horizontal sweep through of the massive amount of artillery. Just crater the moon. <laughs> yes. Uh, wow. Look at this. Artillery, artillery, artillery. Massive. There's no trees left. The training ground has been littered with bodies and parts and body parts and more stuff. And there's artillery and Jesus. What gets me about this is, look at the left-hand side. No destruction. Nothing. No, I don't think there was a single man died over there they the entire game. They even killed the building. I mean, look at, look at how many craters there are right in front of the axe, the Panzer base, the Panzer Elite <laughs> base. This is why it's freaking ridiculous. I tell you what. Yeah, yeah. that was with commandos and infantry, not with like artillery. That was the most amazing game ever. And you know what? We had no audio. I mean, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <laughs> that would suck. But no real uh, we got audio. It's happened before. It has. The Lost Tales of Heroes, which will never come back. <laughs> uh, okay, that's port. weird. I've got a stain gun over here on the commandos, and the actual muscle flash is coming from his hand. On the next to the Werbelwind? Yeah. Shows it right for me. <laughs> I saw what there's one. There's one muzzle flash in the backpack of another guy. <laughs> Bullet cases oh, flying these commandos. everywhere. I can't believe yes. it. The verbal wind has half health. That means the commandos did that much damage? I don't know. It's, it's I hope useless. not. I can't it believe is. they capped that whole thing. They take extra damage while capping, and they still, the, the verbal wind couldn't kill him. That <laughs> thing's worse than a freaking Ostwind. For fun. Ostwinds are good. Well, right now they are worse yeah. than a worse than a one point six Oswin. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. Five. <laughs> yeah. All right. So that's the end of that chapter, ladies and gentlemen. The amazing adrenaline-pumped, moon-cratered world that is Wolf Hazy. <laughs> Thanks for Hazel. tuning in, Hazy. Jesus, Wolf Jesus. <laughs> From GameFire.com is where you can find all these GameFire tales. GameFire.com, T A L E S. GameFire.com. You can send us feedback at tales of at GameFire.com as well. And uh, if you missed it last week, we had a late show because Vinsby was sick. And you may not have seen that if you were just watching the front page of GameFire. Make sure you go to the Tales of Heroes section, tales.gamefire.com. We'll get you there. And that will have all the relevant information. Not everything that we post in the Tales of Heroes section shows up on the front page. Likewise, not everything they post in the front uh, FPS Weekly will show up on the front page. Only new shows will show up there. So keep track of that. Post in our blogs, please. Make your own blog. Post. Give yourself strategies. Whatever. We'll talk about them. If you post good stuff, we'll advertise your blog on the show here. Uh, and uh, if you want, keep posting in our forums. We've got a new forum specifically for your replays. So please go to the GameFire forums, GameFire.com, register and submit your replays into the replay submission form right underneath the Tales of Heroes section. All you have to do is uh, add, uh, upload a dot rec as an attachment and uh, give us the relevant information like who's playing, what sides were chosen, what the doctrines were, um, also what version it was, you know, how long it was, and uh, how tall you are, whether you're susceptible to any diseases, and if you are... Maybe we'll bring you a pizza. Maybe we'll break off your arms. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Have a great night.